Good morning, everybody. I'm Frida Stauffer. I uh, just got back from Kroger. I went to Kroger after I dropped my kids off at school. And I uh, needed a few groceries. So I got some eggplant because I want to make something special. Maybe I'm going to make two different things. My hand is itchy. <laughs> um, yeah, I got four eggplants because they had four that looked beautiful. And I love eggplant. And oh, I'm going to make stuff with them. I got some of my favorite coffee. This is my favorite flavor. Colombian is my favorite coffee. Just the way it's roasted and the way it um, tastes when it's brewed in the percolator. Okay, and I got some marinara pasta sauce in the big jar. I need a big jar because when I make the kids spaghetti, um, they, uh, it's a two pound uh, box of spaghetti, so they need two pounds of um, marinara. But I don't know if it's exactly two pounds in there. Two pounds would be 20, no, 32 ounces. This is a little more. It's two pounds and 11 ounces. So uh, it has the right amount for a two pound box of spaghetti. I got, I also got some little ones because when I make a lasagna, I don't need that giant jar of marinara. Got the kids a box of saltines. I got the best snack, the best homemade snack. Um... I know for sure I'm a staffer because this this was a staffer snack, a staffer Mennonite snack. In a lot of staffer Mennonite homes, they raise their kids on popcorn as a snack. <laughs> the kind you make on the stove top because they don't have microwaves. And it just hits different, sorry, it just does. Okay, I got some chocolate chips for the kids um, cookies when I make them cookies um, this is a how many pound it's 36 ounces so it's over two pounds and I got a family size of grape juice because my kids are all they all love purple grape juice and it tastes, it's Concord, so it tastes like the old-fashioned grape juice I used to drink because we, my family grew grapes and my mom would make our own grape juice. So we would have popcorn and grape juice. A lot. I got some bow ties. I'm thinking of making Ali some pesto bow ties with pesto. I think that sounds cute and delicious. And a little bit um, cute anyway, <laughs> if nothing else. And delicious. So I got the kids some um, snack crackers. My grandfather used to sell Lance in his, uh, where he, uh, he had a feed mill to sell, to, to grind bag and store and sell um, animal food. And then he would, in his office, where he would do the paperwork and sell small things for the family and farm, he would also have Lance crackers as snacks, but he sold the single ones. But I, I uh, since this is an old uh, brand that's been around, I have a little nostalgia for it. And my kids do too now. <laughs> so we are Lance customer. 
And I got some um, taco shells for tomorrow because tomorrow I want to make the kids tacos. Taco Tuesday. And I got some canola oil cooking spray so I can make cupcakes. And um, cupcakes, even if you use the paper, are, are easier to peel if you spray the little cups. Just a little bit, it doesn't have to be a whole lot. Just a little teeny mist and and the cupcake papers come right off. I was wondering how do they do it? Because so many brands stick to the cake and you lose half of your cake. So I believe that the professional um, companies or bakeries, they probably put a little uh, cooking spray in them. Or maybe they have some that already have a little cooking spray in them, I don't know. And I got some of these shrimp. I like the local ones. I don't want any from another country. They are a product of the USA, harvested from, says sustainably sourced from the Gulf of Mexico. They're about around $20 for a bag like this. They're peeled and ready to go. I think they have the tails on which I don't care if they have the tail on. Um, so I think I spent around $330 for today. Groceries. Um, I got some of these baby cucumbers. They're so cute. And they're perfect for snacking. My kids like to eat raw cucumbers and these are perfect for for snacking and dipping and whatever there's something uh about a plain cucumber i need it to to be dipped in something salty and then i can eat it and i got Buttermilk, half and half, not buttermilk. <laughs> uh, I cannot imagine putting buttermilk in my coffee. That would be a rude awakening. <laughs> very, very rude. I got my daughter some cinnamon rolls to make. She likes to make them in the uh, in the air fryer sometimes. And I got the kids' favorite um, biscuits. After they learn um, about these frozen biscuits, Kroger brand frozen biscuits, they do not like canned biscuits anymore. They want the frozen ones. So they have graduated from canned biscuits and switched to frozen. Okay, this is the oil I buy. This was cheaper. The Luana brand was cheaper than the Kroger brand. So I got two because they were on sale. They were only under $19 a bottle. And this is what we use. I use about two jugs a month for us. My husband likes to fry fish in it. We fry a lot of potatoes in it. I got some Cool Whip. Not Cool Whip. I forgot Cool Whip. That's why it's on my mind. I got some cream cheese. And some... This is the best brand of pesto that uh, I've ever tried from the store. Rana basil pesto. And my Ali just, he's in, he's a fan. He's a fan. I got a two pound box of elbow macaroni because my kids are hungry kids all the time. 
Oh, the other one was bow ties. <laughs> I got confused for a second. Okay, I got baby corn. Because my twins used to eat baby corn with their fingers when they were little. I got some pepper gravy because the kids like biscuits and gravy sometimes. Every now and then. And if there's leftover gravy, the cats love it. You love gravy. I got some brown sugar, dark brown sugar. Because if I make cream of wheat, the kids like brown sugar on it. Got some organic Simple Truth oats and honey granola. Okay. And here's the second bottle of canola oil cooking spray. And I got some Hellman's mayonnaise, the large jar, because we are constantly running out. It has 40 fluid ounces or a quart and a half uh, in there. Um, I got Hellman's and Blue Plate. They were both on sale, so I got one of each because I want my kids to taste test and tell me which brand they like the best. We used to use um, the olive oil one all the time, and then they sort of did the shopping sometimes, and then they bought a different one, and now um, we don't always get the same brand. I got some gourmet nacho cheese for tomorrow, which is Taco Tuesday. Every week, if I were to miss Taco Tuesday, there'd be a throwdown here. Not a good one. <laughs> it would be a protest. We, kids would carry signs and boycott my uh, shopping, <laughs> my shopping ability, or they would take over the shopping if I didn't get their Taco Tuesday stuff. And I got, <clears throat> let me see, cauliflower, organic cauliflower to go in my dish with, with the eggplant. You all saw me make that before, makluba. I'm gonna make it again. I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> and as long as I don't get it right, uh, you all can keep laughing at me. <laughs> okay. And celery, organic celery. I like this celery. I like it. And I got this um, broccoli slaw to make uh, coleslaw pancakes. Uh, I mix a little egg and a little um, almond flour and make it into vegetable pancakes. Not sweet. You don't eat them with syrup. I, at least I don't. I guess you could if you wanted to. <laughs> I got two of those. And I got some angel hair because I want to make... I want to make regular uh, coleslaw out of it. Red coleslaw. <laughs> I, I uh, gave up on regular coleslaw dressing because... When I tasted the red slaw or barbecue slaw, I uh, I liked it so much, I gave up the other kinds. And I couldn't find any organic Greek yogurt, so I got foggy. It's like plain yogurt, but it's not organic. <clears throat> and I got the kids some Greek vanilla yogurt, whole milk yogurt, um, to have parfaits with this organic, um, granola so when they feel like having a snack we have something healthy here oops that did not sound good okay here's the sour cream this is the one thing we must have for taco tuesday sour cream and 
my second container of coffee because it's my favorite and I want it in the pantry and because God forbid I should for run out of coffee. <laughs> it wasn't on sale, it was $10 a can today. I got myself some, I got some organic broccoli because I want to use the stems and cube them up and make myself, uh, I'm gonna steam them first and then I'm gonna cook them like uh, fried potatoes. Make myself a broccoli hash with the stems in, instead of potatoes. That is what I thought. I got some corn flakes for um, chicken coating. My kids decided they like cornflakes to coat the chicken. Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, yes. Some of these things were on sale. I got some jalapeno queso to go with um, Taco Tuesday. I didn't get any um, chips to make tortillas, but I need to come up with a, I, I think maybe I should fry myself some potato, uh, broccoli potatoes, <laughs> and then top it with some of that sauce for my Taco Tuesday. I like that sauce. And I got two kinds of salsa. This one is restaurant style salsa, and this one is a uh, chunky habanero hot salsa. So. This one is medium and this one is hot. I'm gonna see if the kids like this habanero one. We like to try spicy stuff. And I got the regular marinara size, the regular size, because one is enough for a, for a uh, lasagna. But I got two of them in case I want to make it twice. I got one more of the Duke's mayonnaises too, um, because. I wanted the kids to try all of them and see which one they prefer. I got a large uh, baby race. My husband likes barbecue sauce and, and uh, some of my kids too. I, will, I would like to buy some wings and make barbecue wings for the kids. Uh, I'll make mine with, uh, with keto barbecue sauce. And I got this for the pantry, some um, evaporated milk for times when we run out of, of regular milk. So I have something for my coffee. I'll keep that in the cabinet. All right, two more little bags. Oh, here's the spaghetti. I was sure I bought a two pound pack of spaghetti. Here it is. Because when I buy pasta sauce, I need my pasta too these kids. Of course, the boys can go out to the store and bring some, but it's good if I have it here because they go to school. Uh, the alarm went off. Here's halves and pieces of cashews. I'm gonna use that to make butter chicken. My Ali loves butter chicken. He wants me to put butter chicken in everything. He wants me to make him butter chicken lasagna, um, butter chicken pasta, and all kinds of butter chicken stuff. But this then is the snack I buy for them. For some of my kids can't eat these because they 
get stomach problems. And some of my kids need these so they can um, satisfy the call of nature. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they taste really good. So um, sometimes we found, uh, my kids found out the hard way who can eat them and who can't. <laughs> And I got keto cake mix. I want to make myself a batch of keto friendly um, Cool Whip cookies. I forgot to buy Cool Whip. <laughs> that sounds very um, geriatric for getting things I need. <laughs> uh, Here's the other box of shells I got for tomorrow. Bold nacho cheese. I, they didn't have the spicy one. They usually have a hot and spicy one, but they didn't have it today. So I just got the nacho. And here's the second one of these snacks, granola bars that they taste, they taste good because they have chocolate in them. <laughs> and here is another jar of that baby corn that my boys like, my twins especially. They used to eat these when they were very little. I don't know if the other kids are as fond of those as, as the twins are or not. I'm not sure. Don't let me know. <laughs> and I got some sugar-free barbecue sauce for me. It's a uh, I, I usually buy this brand because it's, I want to read the ingredients. Yeah, here. Uh, wine ripened tomatoes, water, crushed tomatoes, cider vinegar, modified, why is there modified cornstarch in that? I mean, is it modified cornstarch or corn syrup? No, it says cornstarch. It's not the same. What? How many carbs? It has two carbs, so I guess the cornstarch is what the carbs come from. And I wanted to see what which sweetener they use in this. Uh, they have a lot of spices in it. There's some um, seasoning blend, hickory smoke, caramel color xanthan gum sucralose is sucralose bad sucralose i think that might be one of the bad ones but i won't be eating as that much of it not like it's gonna be a meal two tablespoons has two carbs so that'll work and i got myself some Baking chips, they are uh, chocolate salted caramel flavor. And these are sugar free and they are uh, sweetened with erythriol. So they're keto friendly and I'll be using those in my, in my keto cookies. I can't wait to make those, but I have to go find some keto friendly Cool Whip first. Anyway, that's the end of the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.